58th plenary meeting of the General Assembly is called to order. I now invite representatives to stand and observe a minute, minute of silence in tribute to the memory of those who lost their lives. Thank you. Please be seated. I want to convey my deep sadness about the devastating earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. I extend my condolences to the families of the victims. The United Nations is mobilizing to support the emergency response, and so let's work together in solidarity to assist all those hit by this disaster many of whom were already in dire need of humanitarian aid. Mr. President of the General Assembly, excellent. Our humanitarian partners are telling us that this is Turkey's most powerful earthquake recorded since 1939, and that at least 78 aftershocks were reported, following by, followed by a second earthquake of 7.5 magnitude. The earthquake has uh, heavily impacted northwest Syria, where 4.1 million people, most of them women and children, were already relying on humanitarian assistance. 224 buildings were completely destroyed and at least 325 partially damaged in 17 sub-districts. That's according to initial uh, information we're getting from local authorities. Preliminary assessments indicate that in the sub-districts of Harim, Atme, Sarmada, Atareb, and Kafir, Takharim are among the worst hit areas. Yes, actually, I have two questions. Uh, Partners have reported that their offices and warehouses have been damaged and hospitals are already overwhelmed. There is an urgent need for tents and non-food items, in particular blankets, heating fuel, stove, and, public, and plastic sheeting. We, along with our humanitarian partners, are monitoring the situation on the ground, despite uh, the power shortages and the chronic disruptions in telecommunications. The International Organization uh, for Migration and the UN Refugee Agencies uh, have, total stock, uh, have a total stock of some 2,000 tents and approximately 1,700 non-food item kits pre-positioned inside northwest Syria. UNHCR tells us that 1,000 additional tents are available in the warehouse in Gaziantep in uh, southern Turkey. The World Health Organization has also released trauma kits from its warehouses to at least 16 hospitals in the northwest of Syria. We're also looking to mobilize emergency funds for, in the region. Since it seems most of it, uh, most of the UN... The earthquake is expected to disrupt aid operations in northwest Syria, given the impact on roads, the supply chain, and logistical facilities. Um, just to give you a bit of perspective, uh, we, in a lo we, along with our humanitarian partners, have been assisting 2.7 million people per month in northwest Syria via cross-border aid deliveries. That's before the earthquake. Re 